Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the USB-C Apple trackpad work on Windows 11. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go to settings. We're going to connect our Apple trackpad with Bluetooth. So this version only works with Bluetooth, but click Bluetooth and devices, add a device, then click Bluetooth, turn on your Apple trackpad, and then you should see it populate here. We're going to connect it. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to open up device manager. And we're going to check one thing. So in device manager, you want to go to the human interface devices. And you're going to want to make sure that your Apple trackpad shows up as a Bluetooth HID device. If it doesn't, and it says something like trackpad or Apple trackpad, it'll display somewhere in the middle here. You're going to want to click this uninstall device, and then we'll be able to proceed. Okay, so now that we've got it connected via Bluetooth, what we're going to do, if you don't already have 7-zip installed, we're going to go to 7-zip.org slash download.html. And then we're going to download the Windows X64 version. And then after it's done downloading, we're going to double click. We're going to click yes. We're going to install it. And then the next thing we're going to install is here is actually the driver we're going to need. So you can pause the video, manually type this in. And then once you've typed it into your URL, we're going to hit enter. And then you're going to want to click keep right here. And then don't double click this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our download. We're actually going to right click on the Apple BC up first click on it and then right click. And then we're going to just click on the show more options. And then we're going to do hover of a seven zip and we're going to click extract here. Now, after you do that, what you're going to want to do is right here. You want to double click and then you're going to want to right click on this one right here where it says setup information. We're going to click on it once, then we're going to right click, and then we're going to click install. And then you're going to want to click yes. That's going to say the operation completed successfully. Now the next step you want to do is you want to go back to device manager. You're going to want to look for the Bluetooth HID device, which is your Apple trackpad. You're going to want to click on it. Then you're going to, want to right click on it, click update driver, and then what you're going to want to do is click browse my computer. And then you're going to want to click this. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You're going to want to obviously click on the Bluetooth HID device, click have disk. Now click browse. And then we're going to go to downloads, Apple precision trackpad, Bluetooth. Mine already popped up and appeared in the beginning, but just in case yours didn't, that's what you would do. Click on this click open, then you're going to click OK, then click next, and you're going to see now it says Apple Bluetooth Precision Trackpad, click next, then you're going to click yes, and then after this driver has been installed, we will now check if gestures work. So I'm going to switch to my Apple Trackpad. There we go, it's connected. And it works. Scrolling works. And shout out to Field of Fox, and also shout out to on this GitHub repo, repo Paul Shi Lee. Uh, I wasn't able to find a YouTube video on how to do this, so I decided to make my own. But shout out to these two people who guided me on how to do this. So thank you so much.